Today I want to show you a little bit of my work. So stick around if you want to see what it's like working as a musician at a theater. I also have a question for you, but that we'll take later. Okay, so we're going to rehearse and I ha have to do a self-test for COVID-19. So the instructions. I can't open this. Here we go. Okay. It makes me sneeze. So now I have to wait 15 minutes. I don't know if you can see this, but the marker is at a C, which means I'm not infected by Corona. So I can go ahead and rehearse with all the rest and all people at the stage are doing the same test. So we can actually be rather close together without the risk of in being infected. Cool. And this is our sound engineer, Andreas. Hello. How are you doing? Pretty good. Do you know anything about this show so far? Uh, nothing at all, except it's uh, musical. You know what you have to prepare, though. I think so. Yeah. Good. We'll <laughs> yes. And of course, Peter is here. Of course. And Mr. Tobbe. Paul, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Doing what I do best, sitting with a cup of coffee. I need coffee. I am actually in desperate need of a coffee. Desperate. Now everyone has left after today's rehearsals. Things are going all right. Do you want to see what kind of equipment I have? I've got my Yamaha Montage keyboard. Uh, there's a lot of sheet music. I have to read a lot. And I'm going to stay a little bit because I want to program some sounds. Even though this is a piano-based show, I'm going to play piano like on all the songs i want to change the sound a bit so there's variation in my sounds sometimes an upright piano sometimes a big acoustic piano sometimes maybe an electric piano on top of my acoustic piano and so on I mean, that could be the trouble with being a keyboard player because you have to sit alone and do a lot of sounds all the time, which maybe not people think about, other musicians doesn't think about it. There's a lot of extra work. When I have programmed the sounds, I'm relieved and I can just concentrate on my playing. So I'd rather do this alone anyway, instead of the stress in a rehearsal situation. My songwriting partner, Frederick actually lives in Sonsvall, where I'm working at the moment. So I'm gonna go and meet him. He plays guitar and he was in a rather famous rock metal band from Sweden. He's become a rather famous uh, writer for poems. Frederick, yeah. what do you think people are longing for after the pandemic is over? I would love to say music, but I think it's uh, a charter tour and the free booze. You Maybe. think so? Uh, well, 
I hope it's not, but I think that would be the case. But uh, personally, I would say music, live music, and uh, being around people, listening to music. I don't necessarily need to speak to a lot of people, but I need to listen to music. What is it that you love so much about live music? Being in the present, in the moment, uh, it's happening right now, and it never comes back. You don't. Uh, see it on YouTube, you don't see it uh, again, ever again, because it's right there and then, and never again. So you don't film or things no. like that when you're on, on a live concert? I try not to, because I want to savor the moment within myself, instead of uh, uh, actually uh, sitting and be concentrated on, the, on my iPhone and filming, and to remember the film. I, I rather want to be seeing the experience in the moment. Uh, it's hard because the phone is always there, it's always present, but I need to be present in, in the present. Yeah, so, I see sometimes that you share some pictures or something, but that, yep. that maybe you take the picture just to have the memory of the concert. Yeah, yeah, uh, rather the picture than, uh, than uh, shooting a, a whole tune because uh, that uh, takes away from the experience. Now I have um, high hopes for a concert in November in Copenhagen with level 42. Ah, cool. Yeah. More king. Oh, yeah. The king. I see the theater have an apartment that I have borrowed. It's not much to see. It's a small apartment. When I stay as long as I do now, about eight weeks, it's better than staying at a hotel, I think, because I can be more me. I can have my own life more than at a hotel. I can make a sandwich at night and make my own coffee in the morning. So I like this better, actually. I had to go and buy some files for my sheet music and also plastic pocket for the sheet music paper because the performances we're gonna do are gonna be outside. In May, we're gonna do it on elder care around the city. And in June, hopefully, we can do it publicly. But that depends on the restrictions of Corona, if we can do it or not. So right now, we are actually rehearsing for a show that we don't know if we can perform or not. I'm back in the theater with the files. I have a lot of sheet music to read. And that reminded me to ask you, what do you think? Do you have to read sheet music to be a musician? Leave it in the comments and maybe I will do an episode about that. Do you think that you need to be able to read sheet music if you're gonna be a musician? Well, in that case, I'm not a real, a real musician because I don't. But do you think you have to? I think it's a great advantage uh, and I would have wanted to do it myself, but I never got the time or the ability to do it. But yeah, I think uh, you should do that. But then again, we have Steve Wonder, so I don't know. This is up to you. You could do whatever you want, but it would make me happy if you would subscribe. Friday afternoon and the rehearsals are over for this week. So now we'll be getting home. And uh, next week is one more week of rehearsals. Then we're gonna have some shows for elder care and things like that. The Swedish word of today. In a theater we have a director. The director in Swedish is regisseur. Regisseur. Thank you so much for watching and roger that.